Rose was considered sort of a scandalous woman. After her husband died, she did not hesitate to engage in short-lived relationships with various men. When the war begins, the Confederates want to set up a spy network that will feed them badly needed intelligence about the Union Army. One Confederate officer looks for a well-connected person with Southern sympathies in the nation's capital to run the operation. In the spring of 1861, Captain Thomas Jordan paid Rose a visit. Thomas Jordan knew her reputation as an intelligent woman, as somebody who was very socially connected, as somebody who was mingling constantly with the power brokers, and figured that she would be the ideal person to organize and run a Confederate espionage ring. Rose was absolutely interested in working for the Confederacy. It became the focus of her life. Thomas Jordan not only recruited her, but he also gave her a 26-character cipher. She could then send her intelligence in this coded form to the South, in case anybody was ever intercepted. Luckily, a few examples of her cipher survive, and we have a couple of them here. This cipher was similar to the cipher used in Edgar Allan Poe's The Gold Bug. She had one symbol for Lincoln. She had another symbol for Beauregard. This cipher was very important in her espionage work. Rose put this cipher to work at the very beginning of the war. In the summer of 1861, she hears that Union troops will march on the southern town of Manassas, Virginia, and wants to send a coded message to the Confederacy. She summoned a 16-year-old girl to her home. This girl's name was Betty Duvall. And Rose sat her down, and she wrapped a dispatch in a piece of black silk and coiled it up in Betty's hair and gave her some very specific instructions about how to deliver this message to General PGT Beauregard's headquarters. Dressed as a simple farm girl, young Betty Duvall passes through Union checkpoints without trouble and reaches a Confederate outpost in Virginia. When she's safely inside, Duvall takes the secret coded message from her hair and hands it to General Millage Bonham. Bonham does not open the message, but rather takes it to Manassas, where his commander is, his commander, PGT Beauregard, who has his headquarters here at Liberia Plantation. Beauregard, as his adjutant, has Thomas Jordan, the man who created the cipher that Rose Greenow used. They are able to decipher the message, which said that the Union Army positively intended to move across the Potomac River. 